And here we go. Hey, Mary. Hey, Flasher. This is Flash at the door, uh, not the door table. This is in a perfect world on Tuesday. Ooh, I forgot what day it was for a moment. Haven't spoken to Miss Mary in quite a while. Uh, a week. See, that's like, well, I live a lot faster than other life forms. That's so. like a year in Flash time. That's what they say. But uh, <laughs> say, I looked up the conversion chart, just so you know. Well, we've got the live banner on the RLM chat room. And I would assume we're being heard by the bots and bodies bot. of the real <laughs> liberty media dot com chat room for you. Yeah, you want to say hey to him? Hey to him. And I'll inter <laughs> I, I can interrupt you when you do it and be goofy. Oh, there you go. We'll be okay, pretend well, it's I a dork work. table on a Tuesday night is what we'll do. Oh, okay, that works. Yeah. Okay. Free no more. Thanks, Grim. Okay. I see Barman right up the top, the most splendiferous bot in the whole wide world, closely followed by Beetle. Beetle, how's your arthritis issue going? I know I just found out about it yesterday, but I still got to ask. Um, I also see Cowboy Tech is here. Cowboy Tech, he always hears pleasant voices. Hmm. Don't ever get your hey, hearing checked, okay? Ever, ever, ever. Grimner is here. And by the way, Grimmy, um, Per the uh, message you sent me earlier, you are most welcome, kind sir, and thank you as well. Um, mm -hmm. The lovely Miss Kate is in the chitty chat. My heart goes out to you, Miss Kate. Lots of love and, and cybernetic hugs to you. Um, Anti is here, the one and the only. Mm -hmm. We got some Asmodeus Asmo, as well as the lovely Psycholo. Yeah. I got to have a wonderful chat with Psycholo before the show. We got a damn van meter in the chat. Hey, Miss Donna, as well as Echelon. Flash somebody. I always want to go, Flash! Oh. <laughs> of the universe. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. I know Freddie Mercury is somewhere uh, rolling in his ashes. Was he cremated? I don't know. I also see... We could always try, try again and cremate him this time. Ooh, you know, he might come back and haunt me. That would not be a good thing. Do over. Because he, he might like my hubby. I don't want that to go on. <laughs> oh, <Moving> hey, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> wow. She did a Freddie Mercury joke at you, Wayne. <laughs> she had her chance at me and chose you. I feel so good. Oh. Uh, Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. I'm here, Graham Z, <laughs> as well as Java, 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 Java Doctor 2 mm. is in the chitty chat. We got some prints. It is now in print, so it's prints. We got a Rob Woikes here. Hey, Rob, if you're listening, fire up that bubbler, dude. I also see a trust no one is in the chitty chat. He doesn't trust anyone, not even himself. Jeepers, go figure. The lovely Miss Vanna White, the letter turner bot of the RLM channel, closely followed by Weather Dork, who's still trying to blow some smoke up her skirt. What? We got what in the chitty chat? <laughs> as well as oh, see, that's how you do that. That's how you blow. Yeah. Phantom well, no, actually, and... sweetheart, you're, you're supposed to lick a harp. Oh, okay. You don't blow a harp. You lick a harp. But you live in the world you feel like living in. Okay. Now I know where that's been. <laughs> Anti with a tail is in here, as well as Chaskura. The lovely Miss Chloe with one E is also in the chitty chat, as well as that cyborgian noodle. May you be touched by the cyborgian noodliness of it all. e -man. And end Civ, and we have the end of civilization as we know it going on right now. And I got to tell you, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Maybe I'll say something more about that later, but I just put that out there. Free no more is here. Oh, so what do you cost, honey? What's it cost? <laughs> Freedom is free. Robert is in the chat, as well as JJ's and none of nine JJ's that shook where we got some kiss going on, not the guys with the makeup and the platform shoes. Matt, WJ2002 is also in the chat, as well as Papa Papa Pawn Sauce. Hey, 
I'm I'm feeling rather operatic today. Have I you know. noticed? Oh, did you bump your head again? Did, did you fall no. off your recliner? See, this is the reason why I only do this at home or around my grandparents. <laughs> I find it amusing as well. Are you dressed to kill? Huh? Huh? Yes, huh? I am, actually. I am wearing one of my darn good yarns recycled sari skirts, as an S-A-R-I skirt. Wow. Direct from India. Mmm, all colorful. Uh, you look like a oh, snow yeah. You and look like reversed. an ice cream cone. Mm. So, yeah. So oh, gonna, wow. Yeah, I bought five skirts, but I actually have ten. And then, <laughs> if I really want to, because I bought the maxi skirt, uh, I can tie them up, you know, like a bandana bra kind of thing. Oh, yeah, I do that all the time. Yeah, sure. yeah, I know you do. Yeah. And... Um, because you got the hair for it. it brings out and the it, brown in my eyes. Yes, it does. <laughs> and that way, I also have not five, but wow. ten dresses at the same time. No, but wow. wait, there's more. No. <laughs> these, these are all made out of recycled saris. Oh, know? okay. Those saris over there. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. if they get a hole in them or something, yeah. then they take them. This business buys their fabric from them, and they cut them and, and make skirts and then sell them. Hmm. It's way cool, and they're very, yeah. very pretty. Ah, well, you're you're colorful. That must be the Vinny in you. It must be. I was no, a Vinny joke. Never been in me. <laughs> ah, well, that's not how I meant it, you dirty girl. I know. But I was what the being hell? metaphorical, not physical. You know what I mean? Ah, not physiological. Not physi not either. But uh, not, did you say plain- did you say hi to Woodman? Where is Woodman? No, I haven't gotten to Woodman oh, yet because I'm okay. at Smotan. Oh, right now. Yeah. And the holiest Roger ever. And to round out totally. the crew, the one, the only, the, only. the Woodman Timber. <laughs> and you know what that reminds me of? No. Let me find it. Oh. Yeah, me How could I it. know what something reminds you of? Oh, wow. that's true. That's got to be a girl question because if a guy asked me that, I'd leave. Talk to me like that. You're going to have my children and make me breakfast in the morning? <laughs> Come on. No. Hey, wait a minute. No. <laughs> then I'm did not you know answering. The forest, <laughs> did you know the forest was shrinking, but the trees kept voting for the axe because its handle was made of wood, yeah. and then they thought it was one, one of them. them. Yeah. Kind of like so the... They were voting their own destruction. Does that sound vaguely familiar? Terribly familiar. That's why I'm calling tonight's podcast. I am here now. Exclamation point. The movement. Yeah. But the movement. I'm starting a movement. And it, and, and it involves every one of you. But don't fucking tell me about it because it's the I am here now movement. Not well, we are I, here now, not you are here, not they are here. I. Okay. I'm done. Okay, well, I had a movement earlier today, but mm-hmm. I don't think we want to talk about that on You the just video. did. <laughs> Thank you very much for bringing that to my attention. You're welcome. Wow. You know, you're you're going to join the Air Force and start bombing the Middle East? What? 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 Okay. Remy just wanted to know if you were taking a dump. Verbally? <laughs> I wasn't. I didn't mean well, to. Well, he said Flash was taking a dump, mm. or is that some other kind of movement? Uh, yeah, it's a different kind of movement. It's the kind of movement where you don't go anywhere, you don't do anything, and you don't fucking talk to anybody. Mm. Wow! Start thinking, people. Ah, well, see, Sock says you're a movement in and of yourself. So there you go. Well, but a bing, he's but a just trying to be mean and funny to me on the RLM chat. That's okay. But hey. If you think about it, though, right? I thought about this, and I came up with what Cert came up with, and that is, What's that? I'm here, and that's okay. that's it. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here now. I even added a word, and I went, "Wow." Yeah, I'm here now too. And did you know that all you really have is here? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, and here and- is all. Now, so, yeah, because now it's always here. I went into town to do my little commerce and have a few beers, and I ran into I ran into Magnus. He lives above the bar, so they come down. Oh, sometimes do. they come down to see if I'm there to go to Burnley. Ah, mm. 
And today I just didn't feel like burning when I was just sitting there, in my little solitary, drinking my beer. And he wanted to join me. And he goes, well, "What's up? You sure you want to know?" And he goes, "Sure." So I told him, "I just feel helpless. I'm I'm here in paradise, while everybody I physically know is somewhere else and not having as good a time." How do you know they're not having as good a time? I am not affected by the riots other than mentally, and I have decided that that I've taken the key out and mm. thrown it away, and they do not have access to that anymore. I know it's secret. You do? Yeah. Well, don't tell it because then it won't okay. be a secret. Well, then I'm going to tell it so it's not going to be one. But where you fit in is right now you're having um, bomb troubles with the uh, hospital thing. See? So, you know, everybody in my life that I'm, I speak to far away has got something going on through all this drama for the last three, four months. Oh, uh, well, yeah. 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 Life right has down, been easy but, at SC. Right down to Vinny. Vinny got sick right before the corona kicked off. So he was like in the hospital and, you know, they were saving his life and shit. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, well, you know, and then... It's just the way I see it. It may not be the way you see it, but I'm not seeing a perfect world out there right now. Well, maybe there's a cleansing going on. I you know, know, sometimes you really have to get out the old washboard and the scrub brush, and you really got to work shit over mm. in order to clean it up. Yeah, but, you know, uh, the whole thing that's going on doesn't really make sense. After the fact, when you sit down and think it through, it, it what you fucking saw with your own two eyes is not what happened, and it takes some people forever to never get it. But some people they they look back in a few weeks or days or months, and all of a sudden what they saw back then looks different to them. And I've got this thing where I start out at the end and go to the beginning because <laughs> I, ah. I I call these reruns. I've seen them all my life. Uh, nothing new about this either. Yeah. Just well. the scale that it's on and that they use the internet to orchestrate it and to uh, maintain the, uh, we've got the illusion of free press because we get it on the internet, but it's 90% of it is still that, that organized, let's tell them and show them what we want them to see shit. Yeah. Well, and, and yeah. throwing that word free in there really kind of sort of, you know, it takes people one place where in actuality it's going somewhere else. Because you may not be paying for it monetarily right now, but trust me, you will. there's more. Yeah. And you are paying for it with dividends. Yeah. Well, I like, what do you expect to see? Because you live there. I, you know, my opinion is a little bit less uh, valuable to the listeners because I don't live there anymore. They hold that as a value. But, well, yeah, wait, 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 but let me finish this part, too, though. The okay. same people that have that kind of stand, they also have opinions about where I live, and they've never been here. So, we're, we're see, we're all victims of what, we, what we're shown on the Internet and what we see, and it shapes our views, and we comes out in our typing, how we, you know, how we see the other thing oh, way over there. So, I decided, I'm here, and... and uh, my opinions about over there are just something I'm, I'm capable of using the radio to voice them and the computer screen to type them. But outside of that, they don't have a value. They're just opinion. Well, there's opinions and then there's uneducated opinions. And opinions are bad enough. Opinions are like backsides. Everyone's got one and they all yeah. But yeah. uneducated opinions, that's the product that comes out of that backside. As far as I'm concerned. Well, I've seen so many links on, like YouTube, I still use it, that are mm -hmm. based in the news. You know, and I'm still curious. I want to see. I listen to both sides. And what I've decided after the week I've been doing this is that both sides are telling you what they want you to know. Yeah. I don't think yeah. any... Uh, yeah, and history is written by the winners. Mm -hmm. That's just the way it works. Well, when they gave up the police station to the rioters, at that moment in time, the rioters had their opportunity to take it over and take a stand. 
get let's organize let's do something smart but the people that pay them told them to burn it to the ground so they did there you go yeah well who yeah. who in their right mind lives somewhere and decides you know what a good idea to do? let's burn all this down where are you going to go when it's over well i'm going home i live in chicago what <laughs> See, yeah. and, the, and the people they get sucked up in the in the mob fucking thing that that just it ignites like a bomb. Yes, the mob mentality Hard is to most watch. definitely a herd mentality. And well, being in it is way different than watching it on a screen. Huh. The only time I've ever been in some kind of what you would call a mob mentality is at a concert. Yeah, yeah and those were yeah. good times. Yeah. Everybody was and singing along yeah. and nobody gave a shit nope. that the person beside them was singing off key because anyway. the band was loud enough yeah. that you could Can't. only occasionally hear that off key Nothing. anyway ah. and it was all good because I know I was singing off key as well but it was okay because I was having a good time and so was everyone else and nobody shot you no wow you are no. you a cat <laughs> I, I I'm did I did get an ambient high. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, you know, I got some really crappy thing I want to bring up, too, is all those years ago when I was telling you Palestine was practice ground for America. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. And, Today, Doc, right. I have never been to a Bon Jovi concert, although my baby sis went to a Bon Jovi concert. <laughs> In Phoenix, bubble gummers, and yeah. she was one of those people in the front row by the stage, bouncing around. And my baby <laughs> sister back then was was bada bing, bada boom. Not so much anymore. Three children later, and several surgeries later, not so much. But still, she had a good time at Bon Jovi. Well, you know, I think that each of us has our secret music that would be. I don't want nobody to know I like that. And some people like you. Don't give a shit what other people think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, I enjoy Bon Jovi. I, I don't. Hey, but I, see. I would not pay to go see him. I wouldn't pay to but, see anybody. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that. Well, okay, and I really can't say that I've paid to go. I don't think I've paid to go to any of the last ten concerts I've been to. I, my I've children never, always take yeah. me for my birthday. No, I've never paid to go see any band, but I've gone, but I quit going in 89, and then I got kidnapped to a show in 2005. But I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to be a prick and turn these kids down and make them all bummed out, so I went. And it was uh, Rob Zombie. <laughs> yeah, Rob Zombie show, and I'm like, well, how the fuck did I end up here? <laughs> yeah, my... Uh, my youngest daughter took her dad for his birthday, mm -hmm. took him to see Rob Zombie and Alice Cooper. And I guess they had a hell of a good time. Mm -hmm. But the concert, the one that I think I probably, I mean, I had fun at all of them. I really did. Mm -hmm. But I think probably my favorite one was getting to go see Dr. Hook. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. And, and it was and the, the youngest medicine daughter. show. Yeah. She doesn't believe in seating mm -hmm. arrangements. You know, of course, this was an outdoor concert, and she kept going, Can you see good enough, Mom? You're short. Sure. Come on. Let's get a little bit closer. Come on, Mom. Let's get a little bit closer. And next thing you know, we're like 10 feet from the stage and dancing around and singing. I got stoned in. I missed it. And, and Freaker's Ball and all of this other shit and having a grand old time. So that was probably the most fun concert I've been to. Now, ones that I've had to pay for, I got to go see Black Oak, Arkansas way back, Ooh, just out of go, high school. Jim, and that was an awesome concert as well. Uh, I've been to lots of other fun concerts, but those are, I think, probably my two most memorable ones. Yeah, but have you ever been to Palestine? No. Do you want to go to Palestine? It's pretty cheap now. They brought Palestine to you. Compliments to the U.S. government. I and know. It's, I and it's agents. That so much. Yeah. That mm -hmm. that just made me much more of a homebody. I go grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. I go see my mom. I go see my kids. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I don't venture out into the world. <laughs> right, right, right. Me either. But as somebody that did, you know, I had the freedom to come and go to the point where I'm here, where I'm at. And mm -hmm. fortune being what it is, I like it here. If If it had been any other way, I'd be pissing and moaning and doing something. I don't know. But I got... Got a peaceful, quiet life. But 
the internet is showing me I'm not alone on Earth. There's other people here too. Yeah. Yet they well, they have problems. We're all co-creating. No, they have problems getting along with each other. So yeah, and that shows in the co-creation. So that I. Shows- I called I called this part of the show Welcome to Palestine and in, in parentheses they thought uh-huh. the Jews were allies. Mm-hmm. Well, that's because America doesn't fucking understand that your Senate half of them hold dual citizenship with Israel. So that yeah. means that they've got loyalty to Israel. <laughs> Suckers. Man, I- I didn't know that, okay, I know I'm throwing the Constitution out there, Mm -hmm. but I didn't think that you could have dual citizenship and be a representative of government. You can if it's Israel. Well, obviously, they've changed the rules. That's the only one that they abide by. It's Israel's bitch, the USA. Except for how many of them are lawyers, because if they've got escrow in their title, then they are also subjects of the queen. I got a financial question for you. What's that? Okay. See if you can help me with this one. Uh, okay. During all this hoopla, COVID, crisis, riots, crap like that, wouldn't uh-huh. it have been a lot easier to just tell the public the dollar has zero value, we're all fucked, instead of going through all this drama instead? Well, I tried to tell them that, you know, when you couldn't buy toilet paper, you didn't, you know, no matter how much money you had, you could not buy toilet paper. It's like, excuse me, the sign y'all, on the wall. Yeah. It should let you know yep. your pa- your paper money ain't worth toilet paper. Hmm. Toilet paper has more value. Why? Because it's actually not quite so abrasive on the backside. Okay. So- I mean, can you imagine right. using like fifty dollar bill or a hundred dollar bill with those little tracer mm. strips in them as no. for butt wipes? No, I, that would almost be worth doing just to see how it registers <laughs> oh, to whoever keeps track. Yeah, well, two cents. What is it? Two cents on the dollar? It's not really all that big of an investment. <laughs> no, it's not. But it, it would still it. It would almost be worth it. Okay, but seriously, instead of the government just owning up and telling people the truth, I, what I see of all these things for the last four or five months have just been a way to cover up that there's no money left to pay anybody. And the, the money that's not left to pay people is all those pensions that the cops got promised. <laughs> when these cops figure out that the politicians stole their pensions, are the cops going to be loyal to the people, or are they going to be loyal to their bosses? See, and that's the thing. That's that was something I wanted to bring up when you were talking about burning down police stations. Mm. People need to stop and realize, and they have not made that cognitive connection yet, that when they went from being peacekeepers, where their job was to help maintain the peace. To police officers, their job changed to policing the area. And now they are law enforcement officers. They don't police shit. They don't keep peace. They enforce laws, period. So when they are told to stand down or step aside and let this shit go on, it's because they are not out there to keep the peace. Now, I'm not saying all of them, but I am saying that job title-wise, they are not out there to keep the peace. They're not even out there to police the area. They are out there to enforce laws, and they are told which ones to enforce upon who to enforce them. That's it. And what do they and rotate? No. Do they rotate these cops in blocks, you know, so they can take a pee and... You know, eat, drink something. How do they manage to... Ro- to I mean, they, they work 12, 20, 20-hour 20 shifts doing this shit? I have no idea. I did wow. see... I had a friend from Portugal. Hmm. I know it's crazy. Over on Facebook, um, he sent me a video of someone videotaping some cops taking bricks out of the back of one of their... I think it's like an avalanche or something yeah. along those yeah, lines. Yeah, black, yeah, black yeah. Yeah, a black pickup with the bed cover on it. And they're taking bricks out yeah. of the back of it. And 
it's not a very long video, but it's like, holy wow. shit. And mm-hmm. the person videotaping it is going, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. Which, yeah. Now, I would like to see someone get a video of who is coming up with the skid steer or skid loader or whatever the hell it is that they're using and dropping those pallets of bricks in conveniently located places. Yeah. I want to see video of that. Mm. I mean, if you're going to video something, video that instead of standing there with your freaking camera phone. Oh, that guy's getting killed. Quick, let me get it on so I can put it on YouTube. I might make some money. Yeah. You stupid son of a bitch, just step in. Yeah, but see, Next time that could be you. Right, but isn't it's not like uh, you just decide you're going to put your shit on YouTube and you do, is it? I mean, don't they don't they stop certain things from being posted? Oh, they have Facebook Live that gets posted. They've got all kind of shit. Where okay. You can post well, with all these delays and rules and, and regulations, I'm just saying. TikTok, yeah. I'm still thinking that no matter what you see, if you see it, it's because you are allowed to see it. We're not seeing. Nobody's exposing anything. We're just being showed what your computer thinks is appropriate for you to see. Oh well, yeah. Could be. There, well, there's uh, oh, Esquire. Thank you. There's Rob sens- works correct in the chat. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. There's censorship in the internet here because of third party uh, sources. So if you yes. post a link and they sell the information, blah blah blah. When I try to open that link here, my computer says no, no, no. So I went why, why, why? So to open it, I gotta open it in a VPN from like Israel somewhere that's neutral. So I can and see you what know it what? is. What? There's times when you've sent me videos or when Circle has sent me videos on Wire mm-hmm. and I can't open them here. Well, we should say something. Because sometimes, we, see, Cirque knows how to beat all that shit. Me, I'm still, I'm a Stone Age computer guy. Fuck. On, off, click, click, tape, you know, paste, cut, copy, enter. <laughs> yeah. That's my technical skill with a computer right there, baby. And you know, I'm still dropping in the polls in public here because I will not get a fucking slave cell phone. Oh, that's okay. But it makes me look like a um, like a like a heathen, you know, godless dirt dweller to the in the public eye. What do you care what other people think? Because I live here amongst certain people and I gotta see these people all the time. So it's not a matter I- of care. I'm I'm observing and reporting. I'm not complaining. I'm kind of bragging. Oh, there you go. They haven't lynched hey. me up off a tree yet. Well. I'm just saying. It could be worse. There you go. Cowboy just posted a link. Police caught unloading bricks. Yeah, there you go. Come on. We all know. The people that oh, yeah. know know, and the people that follow think we're nuts. But this is all a planned, staged whole thing. is all laid out, and we're going to do it like this and like that. They got the internet you know, to conduct it. We're watching you a know movie. You know what's really funny about mm. this, though? Because mm. I have some nieces and nephews that are still very liberal, <laughs> as in the current, the current definition of liberal, mm. as opposed to the actual definition of liberal, which is a live and let live kind of attitude. And More anarchist, yeah. 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 Being very liberal thinking <laughs> as to being a liberal <laughs> nowadays. Mm. But I have, I have nieces and nephews like that. And um, every once in a while, they post something on Facebook um, that is basically, oh, you guys, you old people, it's your, all your fault. You did it. Blah, 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 blah. And then, you know, when the rest of us jump in, because, well, we've been attacked. So it's like, okay, let me tell you my side. And we jump in and we say, okay. But did you realize that this is, and then we start explaining, and then we start putting facts behind it. Then they start going, what, what, why do you do that to me? Because, because you're just being a big old meanie poo head, and I'm just going to quit talking to you because cause you used facts. Well, see, these people and that mindset, they will post all of these links and go, see, there's proof. There's proof. And then we can go and find another thing that debunks their proof. And how do we know what we're sharing that debunks their proof is, is truth either? We don't know. Unless we are actually there and seeing it. And even then, hmm. we 
don't know because mm-hmm. how much of this stuff is choreographed? Mm-hmm. All of it. So my yeah, well, my perspective <laughs> anyway is this is all just choreographed. This yeah. is all yeah. a play. Yeah. They, they're it's it's MK Ultra shit. Programming. It's neuralistic whatever. Program that, yeah. Uh, yeah, neuralistic programming. Yeah. And and they're doing this to see how we react and if we react in a certain way, then they will go that direction. If we react in another way, then they have another answer for that. It's also called the Hegelian dialectic. Problem, reaction, solution. They have a solution for every reaction. Or at least just about every reaction. And it just depends on how the bulk of the masses reacts as to what they come up with for their, here I come to save the day. Nobody's coming to save you, people. Uh, the military you is. Yeah. Yourself. No, they, they declared martial law, unless it's nonsense. I heard last night. I think well, I heard it on, through Grimm. We've been under martial law. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Come on, stop. Stop with the reality. I'm going with the fucking news, Mary. What they're telling people. Oh, well, yeah. Let's let's leave our personal what we know out for just a moment and pretend we're we're average Joe. So oh, God. The, the government, Mr. Trump, just saved us by calling in the Marines to protect us. And average Joe doesn't know it's against the law for the Marines to act against you. They have no no legal standing. So this is violence. This takeover. You're being, oh, yeah. you're being fucking, uh, what what do you call it, Hitler? In the modern day, right now, right in front of everybody, and everybody's being hitler and they're all cool with it for the most of it. Uh, we're all being Maoed or Stalin. And the protesters. Those two were way worse than Hitler well, ever thought of uh, All right, but the protesters, I was using it as an example, but the protesters yeah. are just as fucked as the cops are. They should fucking yeah. stop. And then what you'll find out is the people that are left are from out of town. And then go beat the fuck out of them for coming in to ruin your city. This They got yeah. it all backwards. They're taking on the cops. The cops, oh, the cops are just violent. They're going to hit, shoot, kill anything in their way. They don't care. Just don't, they're, they're sissies. They don't want to go. This is bad. Really bad. Well, uh, and I have seen some videos, and once again, I'm going to say this right out there. I have no idea if this is staged or not, but I have seen I some videos yeah. out there of protesters going up and talking to police officers, and the police officers taking off their riot gear and walking with the protesters. But these were the protesters. They were not the rioters. And there is a difference. There's people that believe that protesting works. Yeah. Banding together and marching as yeah, one. No. It's a sucker's move, especially with the internet. Well, yes. Man. And these, then yeah. then there's the rioters who know how to use the protesters hmm? in order to get them where they need to get and then further their agenda that they got paid nicely for. Well. Have you have, did you read about the the blue dye water tanks they're going to use on the crowd? Yes, yeah, they were using those in hospitals. Oh God! All right, well, you know the piss tanks are next. Well, they're just turning them all into Smurfs. I'm telling you, this is stage. Uh, this ain't going to end quickly. This is going to go. People are going to fight. People are brought in and paid to fight to keep it going. Oh yeah. So yeah, this is the start of wow. Horrid things are coming. I think. Of course, I've been saying that for like five, six solid years, being a big old negative Nelly. But I was only yeah. two years off. I mean, you can't, you got to give me a little credit for that part. I wasn't too far off. <laughs> See, and I, I still think people have the ability to, to step back from the edge, to step back from the br- brink. But they have to understand. What? That every choice they make leads to the next choice. You're never finished making choices. Because each <laughs> moment, uh, yeah. you have another choice. <laughs> that Do I want to move? Do I want to blink? Do I want to drink? Do I want to pee my pants? Do I want to <laughs> I wanna go throw a brick through a store that I frequent quite often? But, hey, everybody else is doing it, so why don't I throw a brick through? Okay, wait, and wait, wait, but still. The response to that is if the guy's coming up with a shotgun 
is that pair of shoes you just looted worth your life? No, because if, if you just got two months of lockdown and this happens and you're broke and you got no work and there's no drugs, there's no nothing to do, guess what you're going to do? Yeah. Yeah, everybody's going through withdrawal. And they're saying, you're either with us or you're going to live under tyranny. There you go. And wow. And Circle and I were talking about this. And it's like, okay. How about neither? Let's see, do I want tyranny or do I want tyranny? Mm, mm. Tough decision. I think I'll go for door number three. That's what I did, yeah. yeah. I don't want any part of that, whatever that is. No. Hmm. If there... If there is a you have to do it my way or mm -hmm. the highway, mm -hmm. I will take the, the highway. highway. That's right. You only live once. And if you get hit Even by a truck, it's to hell, because at least I'll be listening to ACDC. Well, yeah. <laughs> why? Because I got confronted with that question many times on my journeys. Well, you know, you could never come back. We'll find out, won't we? You know, how? wow. Where, where, did, the, uh, where did the will to live in all of us go? Well, and, and look at all of these people that are going, oh, well, you know, we're just, well, you know, you got to. You just got to because everybody else is. You know, right. And it's hard what? to, it, it's the wavelength. Well, Larry and maybe Larry and Rob can do a little bit on the resonance and the wavelength and how, how we're, we don't even know we're, we're drawn into shit we're drawn into because beyond our conscious understanding. And the next you find yourself doing shit, you know, I mean, as a, as a, a, like a lame example, maybe you feel a little hungry and you just end up in the kitchen making a sandwich without really being, you know, thinking about all this shit. You just go do stuff. It, it, your brain has patterns to it. Okay? Well, yeah, you have a right? autopilot. Yeah, yeah. Well, these things that are happening are taking people out of their, their patterns and into something different. And they're broke, and they've been locked down, and they've got the coronavirus, and 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 their grandparents were slaves, and all this stupid horse shit that these fucking history people have decided to teach these idiots. It's insane. Yeah. Like black people weren't fucking born in America. That's how ignorant these idiots are. They don't even know their real roots are here, or not here, but there. Well. They don't. They think they think I, about I, they I, couldn't have brought 30 million people across the fucking Atlantic Ocean in rickety boats. They would all have died. That's not true. First off, if you've ever been in a boat you, and you get sick on a boat, you're going to get everybody else sick on that boat. Oh, yeah. Well, and they were all chained up and piled. Then the where's the benefit? The right. Where financially speaking, where is the benefit? Where are you going to make money doing that? I have no idea. All mm -hmm. I know is I'm freaking tired of African American. Mm. Okay, you're freaking American, mm. and you have a natural tan. Ugh, Quit bragging yeah. about it. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Well, yeah, I don't know. They I say get... that you need to make oven of life a little bit longer if you want to put it like that. <laughs> yeah, I know, but see, it's not. It's not so much the black people that are like that, though, as much as it is white people encouraging it and fueling it. Yeah, because we should pay reparations. I didn't do anything to any anybody of any skin color that would no. require me to pay reparations. See, that's conditioning and uh, indoctrination into that whole theory, that whole storyline, that way of looking at life. And if you're not brought up well, with it, I've had yeah. friends of all kinds of different colors and nationalities. The funny thing about the people that would associate with me weren't of that stock. My my associations have usually been with uh, free thinkers, people that don't give a fuck about the details are your problem, not mine. Pay your bill, man. That's what I want. Yeah. You know, that's, that's what my concern is: is that you got cash for what I'm bringing you, and outside of that, your color and your size and your all that. Fuck you. That doesn't matter. Only thing that matters is that you're honest. And then when you're not honest with people, then they start calling the race card. In. Ah, look at this Mexican prick, Jew bastard, trying to fuck me out of my money. Yeah. That's, oh, man, it's just like a... Yeah, but you know what? A lot of the Jewish people have been indoctrinated as well. Oh, sure. I, we we think we're superior as far as being collective. Yeah. We're the, the chosen, chosen ones. ones. 
Yeah. Chosen kiss, for what? Kiss my butt. I I don't know. It's a, it's a story I could never find any real I don't know, value in it. It's just dig me, I'm cool because the book said so. Oh, I yeah. don't give a fuck what the book says. You know, then they yeah. send me to the That's office. Yeah. Thousands of years old said, "I'm yeah. I me personally am a chosen one." No, yeah. I didn't. I didn't go Jewy. I'm just saying that I guess I've got the ability deep down inside to do that if I chose to, but I can't really say. The way I live now, I don't think I'd be comfortable being a, a Jew. You know, where financially, where you're chasing money and you're all you care about is how other people see you and you're successful and all that. <laughs> Fuck all that. Man, the less people think of me, actually, the better I feel. So I kind of brag about it. I have yet to get a cell phone. But the bad side of it is other people think I can't afford a cell phone. They don't know I don't want one. Everybody wants one. You're lying. You know, so nah, you can't win this argument. See, I don't want to be anything but me. I, I don't know how to be anything but me. So mm. Right, yeah. yeah, and I don't need a cell phone to prove anything to anyone. But yeah, the rest of the world seems to they like the instant I like to take the twenty minute walk and see if they're there. You know? And still, I run into my buddies. I don't have to call them to see if they're home. I, the bar's downstairs. If they're home, they're home. If I want to hang out with them and they're home, hey, double bubble. Sometimes yeah. I just want to sit by my fucking self and stare. And they and these kids are good with that. Well, yeah, you just want to sit by your side. I got no insult. No, oh, you're a, you're a, being a mean old. None of that. Just, oh, good. Today we were chatty. Yeah. So, yeah, let me tell you, I, I'm going to brag a little bit about how I was uh, not instructing. What was I was advising my friend with possibilities of opportunity that I thought he could pursue if he had a mind to. Because the local the local society here is still holding on and we're looking around and everybody's walking hand to hand. The kids are with them. There are no masks, no gloves, except for. One of the girls across where we're sitting in the barber shop is wearing a mask, and we're all like, "Hi, oh, yeah, here we go." But just the one. Okay, so I brought up to him. I said, "You know, you got such an advantage. You speak Danish. You speak English." Start asking me how many other languages do you speak, and he's telling me, "I know a little of this. And I got a little bit of that." So I brought it to him that maybe you ought to check out the local politics, you know, and. Maybe find somebody that's in politics that you like what he's doing and work with him. Try to help him. Maybe get a job doing something. I don't know. But if you, at your age, if you don't take advantage of the time now while you're at it, you're going to be like me someday. You know? Well, because I never cared. Nobody ever guided me to do anything to change nothing. I just had a fun life. This kid, he likes where he lives. It's a small place. Grew up here, so there you go. So I'm trying to guide him into doing what you did. Let's get in the local politics and see how it really works. Find out if nothing else. You know? Yeah, if nothing else, find out on the smaller end of the spectrum how the many bloodsuckers work their magic. Yeah, and it's like being like the godfather in a way, because this kid's connected to all the other kids, but he keeps all of them pretty much at bay. And we do our, our sitting alone. Yeah. Yeah, it's very strange. Well, he's in he's when he's interested in my opinion he asks for it. And then the rest of the time we just get stoned and talk about shit, you know, what happened, what didn't happen, what could happen, and then we get serious and solve the world problems. And you know what? The really cool thing about solving the world's problems, especially mm -hmm. if you're talking to someone else, once you speak it, once you vocalize it, mm -hmm. it's out there. Oh, his eyes lit up when, when I told I think you have the ability. You need a little polishing, probably a haircut, a suit, you know, that kind of shit. But you've got the ability to tell people the things they need to know. You know most of it. Tell me in English, so your Danish must be even better. And his eyes were kind of brightening up because somebody older than him is, hey, this kid's got a little 
possibility. And these things aren't taught to people. They, you know, somebody taught me encourage. You know, mm-hmm. don't being discouraging. That's what the internet's for. You can go in there and call everybody an asshole. I don't, I don't think I have. I think I've run out of people to insult on the RLM, just because of the way I speak, type, whatever. My opinions. Uh, eh. You don't like it, then you don't like the opinion. And what it's got to do with me, I don't fucking know. You know, it's all it, it's all perspective. We're just playing a, what do you call it? We're bouncing off uh, other electrical impulses and vibrating and shit. Mm-hmm. But we got this ego and this consciousness that just complicates it so badly. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm not real wordy uh, for the most of it. I like to sit quietly a lot of the time. That's why when I do talk, you can't shut me up. <laughs> But Cirque, Cirque's uh, more talkative one-on-one than I am. So, mm. Yeah, well. People aren't always what they appear to be. You're just seeing a little fraction of it you know, at that oh, moment, yeah. for that at that time. And we all forget, wow, look at all the years that went into that person to get them to where they are right now. And all the shit that could have happened to them. That I know because it happened to me. Could have been the only one that lived and did this and that and the other. So other people did shit that's even more interesting than what I did. Little scooter went by. Ah. Hmm? I got the windows open because it's spring. Oh, it's summertime now. Spring. Yeah, it's supposed to get up to 97 out here today. And we've got (sighs) chance of thunderstorms. Uh, We had it uh, 24 Celsius. It's 78 Fahrenheit. I'm telling you, I'm not asking you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I'm telling you, I'm not asking. I know what this is. I live here, so that's the that's the hottest it's been, and doesn't doesn't really go much higher than that too often. But the humidity makes it feel like eighty. Oh yeah, and mm. see, I couldn't I couldn't deal with the humidity. I couldn't I either. Had, I've had heat exhaustion before, and man, oh man, oh man. Uh. No, I've never yeah, had that. I don't deal well with humidity. Oh, okay. I understand, yeah, but I've, I'm so lucky. I don't know. I acclimate to some level or something, but, you know, as long as I don't overexert myself, because that humidity makes me very warm. But yes, just casual activity, yeah, I'm good. But still, See, that's, wow. That's what, I used to be like that until I, yeah, doing stuff for kids for their project graduation stuff Mm. during fair time which Mm. is july which is one of the hottest months of the year Mm. and out working and building and doing all and didn't realize until it was almost and it was like oh shit okay that and now i now my body just really does not like i can go out in heat Mm. and i can go out in like 70-ish degrees in humidity, huh. but man, you combine that heat <laughs> with humidity, and I'm I'm done. I'm just soup. I'm like a wet noodle. <laughs> <laughs> like it ring you out. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so you want to get back to the serious chat now? I got another one up my sleeve for you. Who the Wait. fuck is George? George, George, Georgia of the jungle. Okay, yeah, but you know what I mean. It's Not like, wait George. a minute. I know this whole know. this whole thing in my homeland is all based. This is the part that it sickens me to the fucking core. All based on one guy. One guy. Well, and, every and see what I'm I'm seeing, and once again, this is take it with a five pound bag of salt. Um, <clears throat> I'm seeing. Well, I saw the video. Where he got choked down, yeah. and that that I mean, part of my brain was going, "This is like freaking all star wrestling," because <laughs> it really did look like an all star wrestling move. You know, seeing the put pressure on the neck, take it off, put pressure on the neck, take it off. But then you start finding out that the cop has had I don't know how many eighteen. Mm-hmm different uh, complaints filed against him for brutality. And, yeah, 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 uh, all that nonsense. All, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. you find out that the two of them worked at the yeah. same establishment. Yeah, I heard 
right. I, I think and, I heard it on And Link. then this comes out, and then that comes mm-hmm. out. And to me, it's like... Theater. Damn. Where have I seen I just, this before? I don't want to believe any of this shit anymore. And then you see the repercussions mm-hmm. of this play, mm-hmm. this act, if you will, on the big world stage. And you start seeing the repercussions of it. And, I, and I'm and i actually starting to go, wait a minute here. How many of these repercussions are real? Yeah. How much of this shit that I'm seeing on the news and on the interwebs is real? Uh, is this all just more staged shit? Hmm. Now, yeah, I'm sure there are people getting hurt. And I'm sure there are people dying. And I'm sure there's yeah. property getting destroyed. Yes. But not by the people that we're being told are responsible for the act in the first place. Yeah, we are not getting the whole story by any stretch of the imagination. Not even on the internet. We're still getting a biased opinion by the side you're watching. So whatever the truth is, it's probably all staged, and we're just... uh, People are just angry enough to join into it after it's begun. They're not instigating it. Yeah. I shared something earlier over on um, realliberty.org, hmm. and I stole it from someone on Facebook. Stole it. Yeah, right. Yeah. Off the internet. But this this is the playbook. Hmm. Okay. Maybe hmm. not, but hmm. it sounds good. Works for me. In January, Australia was on fire. Yes, Australia was on fire in January. February, Kobe dies. Everybody's, oh, you know, be all in turmoil about that. In March... Hmm. COVID-19 is coming to kill us. Okay? Yeah. I I remember that. April, economy tanks and UFOs are real. Okay. So, right on. Yeah. May, giant murder hornets. Well, that went over like a lead balloon. June. June. Are you ready for what's going to happen in June? I am. Underground crab people are discovered, and they eat humans. So instead of humans getting the crabs, now the crabs are coming after us. So in July, apes with guns on horseback come for the human race. Okay, I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing. I am tickled shitless at my birth month. Godzilla comes out of the ocean, and he's pissed. Bonus round, I have Godzilla on my birth month. Well, yeah. In September, are you ready for your birthday <laughs> month? The zombie outbreak as a result of COVID-19 vaccine testing. So you get to have zombies for your month, but I still have Godzilla. October, my little pony turns out to be real. And they eat humans as well. And I'm thinking, my little pony, mm. if it's a little pony, I'd kick it. Is that a link? Have, Wait, what do you mean? It's a picture over here on. I'll grab it. Wow, oh, because I put it I in can... the. If uh, I might not be able to get, I'll put it in, and if Grim can't post it, he won't. Okay. But sometimes well, he has. Can... No, he Grimmy, said. Could you please grab it off of my Real oh, Liberty page? There you go. Because that's where I put it. Oh, November. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. November is the second wave of the crab people. For those that did not get crabbed, not crabs, uh, crabbed hmm. the first time around. When you go to the voting booth, you will get attacked by crabs. But Grimm is December. Father Christmas, he gets to have bonus round, let me tell you. Because Chihulu, I don't know how in the hell you say that name. But that comes out of the ocean, and he's pissed. Now, Chihulu is is like nasty-ass, badass dude. And then... And then for those for those that survived all of those traumatic events, next January, aliens will invade planet Earth. And I'm not talking the illegal ones that came no. over the border. This is real ones coming and flying ships because border schmorter, they don't care. They'll just jump through, jump through a wormhole. Uh, now, for all you Cleveland, my, Pre- yeah. Cleveland Browns fans, there is hope. I don't know how many will be left after <laughs> all of this trauma. <laughs> but the Cleveland Browns will win the Super Bowl in February of 2021. <laughs> Grim, by the way, these are my predictions for next year. <laughs> <laughs> in March of 2021, we'll beat the Rapture. <laughs> oh, and
And then this is the worst of them all. For those that actually survived through all the Mad Max craziness, now you're going to be hit with Avengers 5 coming out. Okay. As if you haven't been through enough. Another freaking remake. Or not remake, but sequel. It's like, oh, my phone is going nuts. I hear it. Oh, it's, it is my siblings. Ah, let them eat cake. Then, well, they're sending text messages. Let them eat cake. I've spoken. Mm-hmm. Okay, you weren't were you weren't done with that yet? Rapture. See. Well. Are you done? I'm. I am done now. Yeah, no. the Avengers. Avengers five comes out in April, yeah. and I think Avengers five is probably what does in the rest of the world. Oh. So don't make any plans if you've got a CD or something like that that doesn't mature until May, go ahead and pay the penalty and cash that bad boy out because nobody's going to be left after Avengers 5 comes out. That wow. will be the last wow. straw for humanity. Okay, but you see, we got the luxury of living in small, quiet places, right? We're, yes. We're, right. So we're just on looking on, and it's a, it's a different perspective than if you're in it. So, I guess ah. what I'm going to search for in, in the next couple of weeks is somebody that's in it. Or not. Do I? I mean, look for somebody to talk to that's actually living in a city where shit's happening instead of just reading it on the internet. It's not the same thing. Well, I have siblings in Wichita. Mm-hmm. And I have a sister, a sister in Lawrence. And a niece and her family in Casey. Okay, can that? So, okay, that's what I mean. Someplace big like that, not even. Uh, but you, what? Well, Topeka had riots apparently yesterday. Wow. And that's the state capital. Yeah, but still, see that these things don't happen the way they tell us they happen. They're, they're too organized. Oh yeah. You know. And, oh yeah. And because if, if it was real, it would all happen in one day. No, this this is very choreographed. Yeah, you know, that's what I'm saying. Small, if blow it, up yeah. and then yeah. if it was real, there's enough pissed off Americans right now. They don't need to do the thing that, but there's not. They're being agitated by outside forces and the, oh, yeah. and the cops. You know, oh and, yeah. And I I made a comment in the beginning of my rant about that, and Rob's Rob says no, it's not all based on just one guy, just the latest guy. Made me feel like I'm so ignorant. I don't know. The cops are killing three people a day. Un- yeah. Unarmed Americans, three a day on an average. So they're at about 500 for the year. And what I was saying, Rob, is not is not that it's about this one guy. It's that that's the point. It can't be about this one fucking guy. So why? Why in the fuck doesn't anybody else talk about anybody else? Why is it all about George? Because that's what the people that are controlling it want the people following to, to believe. And it ain't about well, George. And because, because humanity, thanks to all of this technology and Internet, where you have instant, because we have 4G and 5G now, and 5G, oh, my God, it's going to make everything download faster. Okay, honey, stop and think about this for a second. The actual increase in download speed, you blink faster. <laughs> than the increase in download speed. Now, the only thing that's going to notice that increase in download speed is your phone. Period. You are not going to notice it. Because that's the increase. It's just that little incremental amount of, of speed added to it. It's not even adding one grain of sand onto a beach. All right. You tell me yes or no. Would you give up your phone? One word. Yeah. Okay. I don't think Cirque would. Well. Her whole culture, because we're where we are, mm-hmm. and her lifestyle revolves around that phone because she moved away from the city, too, on top of it all. So. Well, hmm. and it is it is part of work, is it not? All of, yeah, it's a, it's a, all the traps been all laid for her. Okay. Yeah. They tried to lay all that trap with me, and I just went, well, 
I'll deal outside of the state. I won't do business with people that do business with government. <laughs> See, and my mother tried to do without a cell phone. Uh, you know, when, when she <laughs> – okay, she didn't flush it, but it went in the door. Yeah, I remember that. Um, yeah. 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 Um, and right. she said, well, yeah. the heck with it. I don't need a cell phone. Okay. Until she got her phone her. bill last month. And yeah. Then she went, you know, you told I might need a cell phone. <laughs> because the pricing is so much different. Well, yeah, AT&T and, and, and okay. long Okay, and that's, and that's my point, too. It's not like I'm uh, – I'm not looking down on anybody for being tied to these things. I'm – aware yeah. of how fucking hard it is to disassociate. My wife goes nuts because I go downtown without a phone and what if she wants to find me? That's how, con how instant control and phones are to everybody else. And I lived in the 1970s where, hey, you call the bar and see if I'm there. If I ain't there, yeah. it's either I'm not there or I'm dodging you. You figure it out. And that's and the world know, how, I came how from. How did we survive before cell phones? Exactly. But see, that's the world I come from. So you, you either you tell people the truth and you're a man of your word or you fuck off everybody and you do exactly what you please and lie about shit. And nah, that way you can't read. How do you do that? Drink and remember what story? Fuck. That's not worth my time. So, yeah. It's it's entirely too much mental anguish. Exactly. Aye, aye. But see, I married a younger woman, and she's not, you know, after we've been together a while now, but still, mm -hmm. there's parts of me that she still goes, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, and I don't think my grandkids would ever be able to do with that unless you actually, you know, the system crashed and mm -hmm. they were no longer available. Mm -hmm. I think my, grad ki my grandkids would have a very hard time. Oh yeah. Well, and what, I think I think both of my daughters would as well because me I have bookshelves full of cookbooks. Ooh. Oh yeah. Now it's not that I necessarily use all those cookbooks, right. but they're cookbooks from Wayne's mom. They're cookbooks <sighs> from my mom. They're wow. cookbooks from my grandma. Um, they're cookbooks that I picked up at yard sales. Damn. And yeah. I like looking through, there is something very, very primal and very tactile about turning pages in a cookbook and having it propped up. Both of my girls, they just look up a recipe on the internet on their phone and prop the phone right beside yeah. the stove. That's what I'm talking I about. I freaking fry my phone. I know I would because I'm just not that coordinated. <laughs> yeah, old school. That's why is I different. need a big book. <laughs> Yeah, so you don't, yeah. And when the electricity goes out, when the cell, cell towers go down, I still have access to my recipes. Well, did you instill that knowledge onto your children? That, yes, I did. Okay, now. And my children just laugh at me and say, oh, mom. No, then you didn't. Okay, see, I had, yeah. Well, I, I told them, but yeah, yeah. oh, mom. And yeah. I say, yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll owe mom me when you don't have any freaking recipes. Yeah, well, because oh, in my day, my father rolled his eyes at me. So, yeah, when it was my turn, I did it. And when it's their turn, they'll do it. And each generation, instead of being bonded, they grow further apart. You're supposed to uh, be close to these people, but society's made it so that now with the social distancing and rules and crap, they're just trying to destroy the family. What's left of it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why do you think they put all of those people that supposedly, oh, there's no room in the hospital for these COVID patients. Mm. Hey, let's put them in a nursing home. Yeah, where all the old sick people are. Get rid of them. I told you yeah. this whole thing is a charade and a hoax and a fucked up plan. And they're just telling us what we want to hear or what they believe we want to hear according to the computer you're using. You'll get the stories that fuel your your anger or your sympathy, whatever personal things that this, that this fucking box knows how to feed. You know what's really huh? funny is wow. when I was talking with my baby sis that's an RN, yeah. and we were talking about all these riots, and she said, you know, I get that they've got their faces covered. And I'm like, okay, wait for it. <laughs> but she, she says, 
they are not social distancing. I'm not shitting you here. Hmm. They are not social distancing. And you know what's going to happen? Now we're going to have pockets of COVID firing up all over the place again. Wow. Do you have any idea how difficult it was for me to not just totally bust a gut laughing? Yeah. Because I just said, well, I said, sissy poo, it's a freaking virus. Beside that, and yeah. viruses are, you know, that's part of building the immune system. But hot, sweaty people are not going to get sick. That's what the oh, hot, the hot is for, to keep all that well, shit. Yeah. When you're, you need that energy to do something else. So your well, body and, sweats yeah. and it Heat just, kills viruses, yeah, yes. And, yeah, and there you go. And so they keep hospitals at like 65 degrees. Fuck yeah, so you go in there and you sick. Yeah. <laughs> and you stay sick because heat kills, not cold, cold like, a, yeah. what does it do? Preserves shit. Heat yeah. makes it scatter and cold makes it contract. And here we are. Hey, lock yourself in the house. Hide from the sun. When you go out, don't look at anybody or touch any fucking body. That will kill you for that. And for God's sake, stay off the grass. Well, you know what? Summer came here, and I'm telling you, the people that I live among are not playing that game at all. They're just being their regular old whatever they were before. They are back to that today. You know, Except the, ultim- the totally terrified. And you'll see one of those every now and again wearing a mask. And yeah. there you go. Well, you know, there's, they're either afraid of them getting ill or they're afraid of getting somebody else ill. Whatever the case is, that's fear. And if you're in fear, believe me, if you think you're sick, fucker, you're sick. Oh, yeah. Because fear is a wonderful attractant for all of that negative energy. Talk to all Larry. Neg- yeah. Yeah. You listen to Larry oh, yeah. talk about this stuff. He knows. Rob, I don't mean to discount Rob, and, and but Larry's the older guy. You know? Yeah. So I think of Larry first in terms of reference. But Rob's good. He, he's he been clear on all these things that we've been talking about for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Grimner, um, I don't know. There's not a lot of people that just always sound exactly the same. Robin Grimm do. You do. Well, you didn't for a while. You were kind of growing I, and changing. I, now you're the yeah. same. Now you've settled. You're, yeah, you're getting I, predictable, you old bat. I know. I found my happy place. And that's cool. I got. I think I got mine, and that, Cirque's is dying for me to tell her that all the time. And I'm not wordy enough. Keep her in suspense with my silence. See how you are. Well, yeah, but see, I come from the show me world. To the talky world, and I, I don't, I never transitioned. Because when I was growing up, I learned don't pay attention to what people tell you, watch what they do. Fuck what they say. Yeah. They can promise you the goddamn moon, and you'll sit there like a dumbass waiting for them to bring it to you. Don't do that. They promise you the moon, tell them where is it. Let me see it, show it to you. And if they can't, they're lying. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't come from that world of, oh, honey, I promise you the moon. I just come home with the moon one day and go, hey, I got this for you. There you go. Well, like well, my, my well, bitching. What do you do with the moon anyway? Okay. Start and, selling tourist visas? All right. But how it equates, <laughs> Mary, is my complaining about um, Copenhagen all the five years ago, over five and a half now, is mm-hmm. what brought her here. And when her family comes over to visit, that they, they, everybody's comfortable and they got plenty of room and they can do whatever they want. They're not crowded yeah. in the city in the apartment. You know, it's nice to get where, wherever you are. Most people, not me, but most people want to go somewhere else. I used to be like that. Wherever somewhere else was always more interesting than where I was. <laughs> Something going on over there. I want to go see what it is. And yeah. I think Cirque kind of caught me in a time of life where I was ready to stop. And then here we are in this like quiet place while the rest, like you, in the country mm-hmm. where things are slow and people are still decent and there's still food to eat. But where there's society 
and everybody's, you know, smart and intelligent and plugged in and organized. It's all falling to shit. Oh, they are so smart, and yet they know very little. And I used to think that made absolutely no sense whatsoever mm. for someone to be smart and mm. know very little. Mm. And yet, when you have all of this book learning, <laughs> and Chuck Woolery said it really good. Um, Chuck Woolery did a thing on on how he would cut the budget, cut one point five trillion out of the budget. And he said, get rid of the the whatever of education. Not I, Board of Education is all that's coming to my mind right now. But um, in any case, he said, get rid of it. Because they have done an absolutely pathetic job of teaching our children. We have the dumbest population on the planet, thanks to nationalized education. And, and so mandatory vaccines. Yeah. He also said get rid of the EPA, which I think the EPA is a bunch of shit. Mm -hmm. EPA really does not go after the big polluters. They go after the little guy. And as I found out living out here and helping work truck wrecks, you know, make a little extra dough, um, when a milk tanker spilled, it was raw milk going to get pasteurized and bottled up and sent out to the grocery stores. It spilled, and the EPA came in and said, you have to take the top six inches of dirt everywhere around that tanker because that is a toxic spill. <laughs> so you need right. to take the top five inches of dirt away, and then you need to bring clean dirt in mm -hmm. to replace it. Right. Raw milk. Uh -huh. that's, what, that's what your tax dollars do for you, EPA. So he said, get rid of the EPA. I don't have a problem with that. Not at all. Oh, shit. I just got disconnected. Oh, did From what? From RLM. Oh, okay. I see that now. Well, you didn't get disconnected from the dork table, so you can always rebop into the RLM chat. We've That's temporarily lost feeling. Miss Mary from the RealLibertyMedia.com chat. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. <laughs> really, huh? This is a <laughs> national emergency. Mary got booted off the RealLibertyMedia.com chat at approximately 10, 12 p.m. Denmark time. Yeah, it's like, what the hell? What did I do? Oh, oh you're yeah, back. that's right. There I was go. talking about getting rid of the national education, whatever. Yeah, you're on a roll. EPA. Well, you know, I got something else, too, to, that you can run with. Because this will be right up your alley. See, What's that? Well, we all know here in this little group we're in about fractional reserve banking and the practices thereof. Okay? We also uh -huh. have a functioning understanding of Federal Reserve Bank is not federal. Okay. Now, yeah. what people don't under seem to understand is now they're telling you they're going to print trillions of dollars every couple of months. <laughs> yeah. Quantitative easing. Months. Okay. Do you know what the interest rate on $10 trillion? Uh, this is asinine. These people need to be stopped. And here's society's burning, and they're, but they're doing it wrong. They're only going to okay, fuck up the now shitty what part. Is the interest, what is the interest rate right now? Because for some dumb reason, rate? I'm remembering a negative interest uh, rate. But Well, look, okay, I'll open up the, nas the debt clock, right? The, ne what, world National Debt Clock, and we'll take a look at that. And maybe you can read it. I can. It's got like 50 charts on it, and in some are red, and some are blue, and some are green. Wait a minute. Is a comment I posted in the RLM chat for everybody to see. Here we go, real now, time. I did see something earlier mm -hmm. huh? on Facebook. Someone posted, please, dear rioters, don't go and attack the IRS building <laughs> at, at such and such. Yeah. And it put out the address and yeah. everything. Yeah. We, we don't want you. Okay. And I thought, yeah. okay, yeah, right. Trying to use your reverse psychology. <laughs> Only in this instance, it probably would not work. Mm. But, yeah. It's freaking insane. Okay. Oh, holy I, shit. 
respect. I put up a copy of the national debt clock, the U.S. debt clock. There's plenty to choose from. But this is my favorite because I'm familiar with it. Well, right? the U.S. federal tax revenue hmm. ain't going to come anywhere near what the national debt. It doesn't even pay the freaking interest. But isn't that in trillions in green? Three trillion plus. Yeah. You know, I mean, wait a minute. Yeah, but the national debt is 25. Right. Almost 26 Exactly. Trillion. All right. Now, all these, from beyond the fucking numbers being ridiculous, I don't understand all the, the, the logic behind you owe me for money I printed. What? I created this out of nothing. Yeah. I put the numbers on a computer screen. Yeah. And later... We will print these off. Yeah. And that's what you owe me for is the actual trouble of printing them off okay. and, and handing them out to everybody. That's what you owe me for. <laughs> but I just created it out of nothing. You know, it's it's like I am God. I am the omnipotent one. Can you I give am me the two minutes? One. I'll be I right. can create anything. Give me two minutes, I'll be right back. Yeah? Okay. Thank you. Uh huh. Well, Flash is gone. Flash is gone. Party! Party at Flash's house. He's not here anymore. <laughs> there hasn't been a reserve in, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's just like the uh, balanced budget. Clinton's balanced budget was a bunch of bullshit. It's how, it's how you, you know, legalese wording is all that is. They balanced the budget for that year, which basically meant their spending balance with what they projected to come in. Now, it did not mean that at the end of the year they actually took in enough to cover what they spent, but the budget that they approved balanced out. That doesn't mean that there was no national debt. That doesn't mean that they didn't add to the national debt. just means that the budget that they printed said, this is how much we're going to spend and this is how much we're supposed to take in and like magic, fuck you. It all balances out. That's how they do things. And I, I kind of sort of had that inkling prior to work or serving on city council. But when you actually start doing governmental budgets and you have to, okay, this line item goes here and this line item goes here and so much money goes into here to cover this and and all of the financial juggling that's involved with it, until you actually see how that works, you don't really get a total grasp of just how massive of a scale the bullshit is piled up in the D.C. area. And, in case you didn't know it, they're Democratic and Republican parties for a reason, because they're both having a party on your dime. You get to pay the bill. Well, no. You get to clean up the mess. No, nobody but pays. They the, are having a party. No, nobody pays the bill. It's all done in credit. We just keep promising no, credit further, further, you, further. You pay the bill in losing more and more of your liberty. Well, that's not what you said. You said no, you but it's still done. paying the bill and cleaning You're up fun, the mess. Uh, well, try not to leave a mess to clean up. What is about well, that? I, if I make a mess, I clean it up. Mm. Okay, so I guess uh right. You're you're not like everybody else though, you weirdo. I noticed that. You're not. And I I don't mind it. <laughs> well, and now they'll just call you an eccentric old lady. You know? That's fine by me. I can I can wear the insect insect that. I can wear that eccentricity stuff really well. Yeah. Well, now now Rob's talking in, in intelligible words, and I don't yeah. I don't speak debt. That's my problem. I'm so against all this that I don't allow my mind to accept that it's real. It's stories, and sure, I see buildings and crap, but you know what? That does not involve me, I, and see, it never Rob, has. Yeah. The devaluation of the currency, a lot of people don't really realize that. They think we are living so much higher on the hog. Look at how much more I'm making oh, than yeah. my grandparents yeah. did. Yeah. Okay, look at what your grandparents made. Look at what it cost for them to purchase a car, purchase a house, yeah. purchase food. Well, yeah, but look at the, uh, the wages and at the time. And look at what you're making 
Look at what it costs you to purchase a car. Okay, but the wages at the time were uh, the numbers fit. You know, if you made a dollar sixty an hour back in 1960, that was an adequate amount of money to make to survive through the week. Oh yeah. Okay, but if you made a dollar sixty an hour in 2000, you'd probably be in a prison somewhere making Kevlar blankets for the kids in school. Oh yeah. Because that's what the dollar was worth because of the fractional reserve banking program that yeah. these fucking politicians refused to cancel. Just cancel this whole goddamn thing and start fucking over. And now that they've bombed all your fucking cities to shit with their stupid riots, it'll be easier. And there will be six corporations that take everything over. So if you want to eat, guess where you're going to have to go to buy your food? Because there's nothing else. And they're doing this to you right to your face. But they're calling, oh, yeah. it, they're calling it riots. They're encouraging the fucking shit in the first place by locking you down oh, yeah. for two months. Shooting people and all these horrible things the government does to the society day after day. So it, I, it was just a matter of time before they could pull this off and get more of the country into it. The less people that participate in this, the better. You want it to stop, do to them what they did to you. Shut them off. Mm -hmm. Stop participating in their fucking games. Let them kill each other off and stay out of it. Yep. Okay, in the chat, Rob was talking about your grandparents could buy a house for $10,000. Little known fact, actual fact, my first house that my ex and I bought, we paid $10,000 for. Now, that house is now worth 92000 So when we bought it, we paid $10,000. Right. We got a five-year note. They've got to justify the fucking fact that their dollar doesn't have a value, so they raise the prices of shit to make it look like something it isn't. They're, they're misleading you with lies and stories. Uh-huh. We'll make the property more valuable, then we can raise the taxes. Wow. Mm -hmm. In this suite? Well, fuck, man, yeah. I don't want you doing that. But you know what? Because of the corona, you know what happened to me and Sir? What's that? Oh, the property got more value to it because uh, it's a sought-after place to live now. Mm -hmm. It's a small fucking country. There's not a lot of places to go here. So by doing this corona crap to the big city, they made people go, hey, I'd rather work at home. Where's a place far away from here on a beach somewhere? Oh, Freddy. There I Move to Freddy Town. Hey, wait mm -hmm. a minute. Now, then you got the people that live here. Go, hey, wait a minute. i got to move to somewhere else. I better make some profit off my, part, my property. So they're stuck in that competitive, you know, eye for an eye Jew game that everybody hates, but we all play it. Well, it's like, you know, I've had people tell me that, oh, there's nothing wrong with unions. Unions get me better wages. Okay, I know enough union workers that have told me their stories, and it's like, bullshit. But what people don't realize is a union goes in, they negotiate, they get you a better wage. When they actually do negotiate to get you a better wage and a better package, if you will. But then your, your union dues go up. And then if you're renting, your landlord finds out. That, hey, the union just got everybody a raise. So when your lease runs out, they up your rent. So it becomes a vicious cycle. Mm -hmm. And while all of this is going on behind the scenes, you know, the pay for the people that create the product and all that other fun stuff, well, the business is not going to just absorb that. They're going to pass it on to the consumer. And so... What they're doing is they're getting a raise on this end, but when they go to purchase whatever it is that they're producing, they're paying for their own raise because it's been right. The price has been raised up enough to where they eventually pay for their own raise. And I still it can't is a uh, massive circle jerk. Right, but I can't get past the idea that if your currency has debt attached to the dollar that you're getting then that devaluates your dollar before you get it. <laughs> see, wait a minute. And see, the, the only reason I, I think that this system even continues is because there, there is a massive amount of people that 
believe, yeah, with that go. little lie there hidden in the middle of it, yeah. they believe it has value, and therefore it, it does. does. Yeah. That belief gives it a value. Because they, yeah. And what they're actually trading on is the belief in the value. They're not necessarily trading on, on the paper money itself or even the creation digital wise. It's the belief that it has value, hmm. just like Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the belief that it has value, even though all it is is on a computer screen. Yeah. You can't tell me that Bitcoin has any more value than fiat currency because in my mind, if you look at it, just look at it, it's fiat. It's created. Oh, my computer mined for it. Oh, how much was your electric bill? You know, I just... I know. It is a massive worldwide circle jerk. That's just all there is to it. That's what That's what I've been complaining about on the radio all these years. Is people don't seem to learn from the, the real true lessons in life. Like Palestine is what's coming. And it's now it's there because you got people from outside of these cities to come in and instigate violence and burn buildings down and shit like that. And yet that's not written in stone. Well, it is when you burn. Well, that's pretty much you what burn written shit in stone down, means. But it's just like a forest fire. That something happens and a forest burns down. Is there not regrowth well, afterwards? Right. Yeah, but they're shitting in their... See, this is why it doesn't make sense. Yeah, they're Mary. shitting in their they're own post shit- no. I get that. Then, no, who could be... Seriously, no. Without an outside instigator and fuel source, you're not going to yeah. have that kind of uh, anger in a, such a small area. You've got to bring people in from other places. You've so, got to bring people in from other places. Yeah. But if there is no oxygen for that fire to feed off of, well, man, that's the in other thing. words, if there aren't people in that area that yeah. will move, yeah. I'm going to go along with the herd. Right. If you don't right. have that kindling it's going the cops. on. Oh, Mary, but it, the kindling is the police themselves disguised as bad guys. And they yes, got I've filmed. They got too. caught. Doing this, and it doesn't matter. You see, this is what I, I'm always harping on. You do the crime first, so who cares about punishment? You've already burnt a fucking city there. Here you go. Now, let's let's spend five years arguing about who to punish over it. And that's the wrong way to, that's why we're, where we are today is because mm-hmm. the society, if you're in that, it's, that's what you want. And if you're in a society that's semi reasonable and just want to get along, things are quiet. So those places, those hot spots are fueled by people from outside of those places. Because mm-hmm. look around you, I bet you couldn't find ten neighbors that would understand uh, the anarchist standpoint in five sentences, and they'd come out of it calling you names. Because no, anarchy is violent. No, no an- that's government, state. You have it backwards, and they'll that, argue that is word manipulation, right? But they'll argue anarchy really says nothing about violence. I understand that. I understand. That's why I don't know. I don't give a fuck what people think anymore. If you don't know what the hell it is, you don't know what this means, go away. It's you're you're wasting my time. So I don't associate like that. The people that I associate with have a an intelligent way to look at life and they're peaceful, nice folk that don't want to go bust in anybody's store up or anything stupid like that. They want change though. Let's sit down and figure out what we want to change. Not oh, I'm gonna go Bust your head because you won't listen to me, bullshit. And I thought that was what the protesters were against, yet they don't understand that by being there, you're bringing in the police, which always ends in violence. If you don't know that, well, wow, what are you protesting against then if you don't understand the police are the problem? Hmm? Yeah. Well, okay, that's Rob what they're saying, right? Hand- Hmm? Rob put in here, anarchy can be peaceful or violent, depending on which warlord takes over, which, yes, that okay. is true. Yeah, titles. Anarchy can be yeah. either peaceful or violent, yeah. because anarchy, break it down, etymology of the word, hmm. an means no, and archy means rulers. 
basically it's no external rulers. So if you're at but war, you have a ruler. A lot of people ruler. that are a lot of people that are real anarchists, yeah. real in quotation marks anarchists, mm. are also monarchists because monarchy means one ruler. It's not royalty. It's not all that other bullshit. And that's, again, where they manipulated and warped the definitions throughout time. Monarchy is one ruler. Monarchy is self-rule. Anarchy is no rulers. Anarchy is actually no external rulers. So an anarchist, a real anarchist, is also a monarchist because they rule themselves that's if you go way back to when the words first came out not the way it's been in the new dictionaries mm -hmm. out there that say it's a violent and chaotic and tricky it can be broad. you're so you're tricky i knew you do this make them think mary make them think you know what you ought to do you ought to find a link to go with that what you're talking about so i can put it in the notes Actually, I do have a I'll link. bet you have, because this is your strong side, too. You've paid a lot of attention. You know what you're talking about. So, hmm. well, let's give them something to read, too, if they follow the show. In, in life actually, it is. Um, it's something that I posted on Twitter hmm. a couple days ago. I wanted that list from RLO. I couldn't figure out how to copy it over. Maybe Grim could. Hey, Grimner, could you put the, a copy of that up? Uh, list of funny places and stuff Mary was reading earlier into the notes for me or do I have to do it? If if you can do it that would be great because I don't know how to copy it from the RLO site. I'm done Mary. Bye. Okay. Okay. I am looking for my link because I was Oh good. I, saw I, kept, I kept seeing all these people sharing this stuff about anarchy and how bad it was mm. and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, no, it's not. No, mm. it's not. Okay, I'll just... Depends on is. your definition of the word. It depends on the application. Well, okay. Uh, yes. that too, uh, well, I got correct. Okay. Schooling me, baby. Schooling me. I'm learning here. Yep. Yeah. I yeah. am. Okay, this is the tweet that I did. Okay afterwards but let me find the, oh, the actual this, link there we okay. go etymology of word anarchy yeah okay i mean that's the link right yes from okay. the last bastille uh, wait a minute i'm getting I'm, a twitter thing hmm. that was just something i posted after i posted the last bastille because I kept seeing all these people saying that anarchy is bad, anarchy is chaos, a anarchy is destruction, anarchy is not oh, just oh, that. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. So here is the last Bastille. I put that link in the chat. Uh, yeah, I got it. But I want it for the notes. You know, we got a little crowd that, that keeps up with the In a Perfect World podcast. Uh-huh. Not too many people out there, but, you know, to the folks that do... I'm fucking amazed, especially with the world the way it is right now, that you know, people can uh, listen to an outside opinion about something that doesn't affect them. And no, it's just, it's just my opinion, and I like to talk, so we did radio about it. Mm -hmm. And it, it's kind of cool. Well, it's I know a lot of people, and some people that I know wouldn't do radio. Oh, and I know a lot of people that would be absolutely amazing on the radio. I mean, and they won't yeah, do it. Wonderful. Yeah. No, they won't. Yeah. And they won't touch a microphone. So, hmm. Yeah. So I just look at the radio thing like, well, I figured if nobody else wants to do it, I'll, I'll go ahead. And then sometimes I got, like, I get stuck on, on a show solo and I don't even know what the fuck. I don't even really know what to talk about. And other <laughs> Welcome nights, to my world when I did the rocket chair. I had yeah, no freaking clue yeah, yeah. what I was going to do. I just winged it all the mm. time. Well, you know, Grim branched off from the Freakers Ball to do a solo on Monday night. And where he yes. he does news. And I thought, man, that's he's and he does good stuff. Me, when I, I've done links and I'm not that um I'm not that interested in the 
storytelling of the Lynx, like he is. He has fun with it. So I wanted to back away from doing Lynx. See, and I have fun with reading the stories as well, but uh, I I cannot tell you a single story that I have read without adding some of my own <laughs> I know. flair, You're if you an- will. Yeah. You anarchist. Oh, did you yes. want the did you want the Twitter link in there too in the notes? It it doesn't have oh, to be okay. in there. All right, I put the, the uh, entomology the last... of the word anarchy in the yes. notes for your reading. That is an perusal. interesting read. Yeah. Oh well, you figure we're on the chat room, so most of these people read. <laughs> That's the whole point. Yeah. Readers go yeah. to chat. You know, people that don't like to read so much probably can stand chat for more than 10 or 20 minutes. You know, like my buddy that comes looking for me, Ash, he's not real chatty on the thing. Five, 10 minutes, you're going to be home. You know, should I bring something? A couple of quick questions and then goodbye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Well, I find myself getting, when, when the room's quiet and there's nobody there, I'll write a little story. <laughs> Uh, just and that's really very therapeutic to do that. The weirdo shit that amuses me, Mary. Sometimes I worry about my mental state. You know, I don't. I've I've stopped worrying about my mental state. I've decided I'm just going to enjoy whatever state I'm. I said sometimes, me, not daily. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, uh, interruption for Miss Kate, um, buddy. Want to? Make a note, make some kind of verbal, let Kate know about her, you know, her, about the dog. Yes, yes. And yeah. that's that's why I told her. I didn't want her to think that she was ignored by the uh, crew at in a perfect world. I just don't, yeah, everybody was typing at you all at once. And I just didn't feel like dogpiling on the, you know. But, yeah, I've had dogs and I know. And I have a dog now, so... You know, it's sad, but somebody's got to be tough and, you know, live on. Well, and it, oh. But I'm not heartless, and I do care. I, you know, I am sad that you are losing your pet because I've been through it, but I don't, you know. That is so hard. I know. I got to say, we are so blessed out here. Yeah. Uh, We have a vet clinic that will come to your house for you. Mm. And um, we've... We've done that before. And you're tight-knit, too, because you've known each other your whole fucking life. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be the tipping point to anywhere, is if you've got deep roots where you're at, you're you're probably going to be okay. And if you don't, you're mobile and not connected. Looking for a group, that then you're trouble. And the system yeah. is going to play you. Because there's no money, there's no work, there's nothing to do. Everything's either burnt, shut down, or off limits, or not. You can't do anything. So, yeah, they put the, you know, they put the population right where they fucking are. And the sad thing to me is the population fell for it instead of seeing the trap. Oh, yeah. Well, <sighs> the vaccines did their job, didn't they? Oh, the fluoride in the water, the TV programming, the cell phones, all these Outside things yeah. that make us dance. My weakness yeah, it's is it's never the con- just yeah. one thing. It's it's yeah. like a a one two punch that is a fifteen round bout. Uh, okay, but my weakness is the uh, internet. That's my addiction. I can't mm-hmm. seem to beat. But I do make the most of it. So I'm not complaining. I'm being just aware that this machinery has drawn me in, and I, now I can communicate with people and. Do all these things that make me feel good. So it's like a drug. Hmm? Mm-hmm. And basically, yeah. So I figure, well, if I'm going to waste my time on a, a box, I might as well try to do something productive through it so that the entire journey isn't just a big you know, waste of time and nothing gets accomplished. You know what hmm. I enjoy about the Internet? Hmm. Is to me, it's like when I would look something up in the encyclopedia when the kids were little. Yeah. And we'd look something up, and four or five hours later, there's a pile of books 
all over, well, not a pile, but books were scattered all over the floor, and they're uh, all open yeah. to different pages, yeah. and everybody's looking, and one thing leads to another, which leads to another. I don't have to go around picking up books and putting them back up because the Internet, I can see something, and then all of a sudden, if it's a link off to the side or like with YouTube, it's a, in the suggested list or what have you, mm-hmm. I will see something that I go, oh, that well, looks interesting. You know, and so I just do random searches whenever I spend time interwebbing. It's, I'm very random about. Yeah, but the way your brain interprets the information off the Internet is different than the way your brain interprets the information off the written page. Yes. Whatever we're yes. seeing on the computer is controlled by outside sources. And they'll tell you, oh, it's all innocent. No, no, there's something more way deeper to this shit than I can ever explain. I, yeah, I, but what I'm, was on the written page was also controlled by an outside source. Yeah, but you're deciphering it with your own ability to look and read. Yes. If you can't read, look, you can not be able to read and still look at a computer and see shit. That makes a lot of sense. But if you oh, can't yeah. read a book, if I open a book in Danish, I'm stuck. What do I do? I don't know what I'm looking at. See? Yeah. So, well, familiarity. There you go. So, if I was... But I can put on Danish stuff on TV, for example. A movie. Mm -hmm. Subtitle it. Or not even subtitle it. Just watch it. And you figure out what the fuck it is by what you're looking at. Because Uh your brain is so creative. Well, I I don't think a lot of people do slow things anymore. You know? They don't just get out and take a – well, especially with this last few months of bullshit with the state. But even before that, I don't remember a lot of people go, ah, oh, it's time for me to go out and take a walk. I'll be back in a few hours. Hmm. What? I'm just – Well, hmm-ing. that's my nor- – but see, that's my, my normal today in this period in time. And uh, – <laughs> oh, fuck. It's like I got – I got to order what I wanted off a menu. And sadly, everybody else suffered for what I wanted. <laughs> I don't know. I was begging for a financial collapse a year ago. Come on, financial collapse. Let's go. Nothing. They just propped it up another year. Now you yeah. got your... Yeah. When they started to borrow... When they started bailing out in trillions, multiple trillions, every couple of months. Oh, no, no. You're 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 being lied to badly. You, you, <laughs> See, and and that's the magic of the magic number zero, and that was something my uncle Tommy told me decades ago. Um, Christ, before I even got married, that was something that he told me because I was listening to the adults um, talk about finances and what's going on in the world oh, and yada, yeah. yada, yada. Because even way back in the day, people talked about those things. And he had said, you guys do realize that the more zeros they put <laughs> behind a number, the more unreal it becomes. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. And that's that's so why I only got one zeros are a wife. magic number. If I had ten wives, I would probably be dead by now. Probably. One and so plenty. don't put that zero behind that one and you'll be good good to go. See? But, you know, people don't realize that I you do. have a $5 bill, yeah. you put a zero behind it. Woo, look, now it's a $50 bill. Yeah. Oh, yeah? It's a $5 bill with a zero behind it. Zero? What is zero? It's nothing. But that's not what we're taught, Mary. I've heard, I I've heard this side of you before, and I don't disagree with the premise. It's, the, it's that the... Uh, understanding of it has been so manipulated by life Mm -hmm. the way we were indoctrinated into the machine you know each each of us got done differently that's the beauty of it it, is it looks like you're an individual when you're really just coming off a printing press yeah and the indoctrination is very i mean it's lifelong and it's deep I'm yeah, concerned about deep. America. I because you got family in America. They, you know, I should just go fuck America. Who gives a shit? I don't live there no more. Fuck all those people. But that's we don't. But you know what? I I don't really want to do that. 
because it's not the it's not the name of the place that matters to me. It's really it's the people that you know, like I talk to, like you, where I, I have contact with some people, and some people I don't have contact with, but they're still you know they live in me, they're in my mind. Yeah. Physical. Yeah. I've got my physical world, and then I've got my memories and my electronic world. Mm-hmm. So. Well, 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 we're being inundated in way too much uh, input, I think. Oh, yeah, it is most definitely a sensory overload, and that is part of the whole neurolinguistic programming. Mm-hmm. There it is, NLP. That's mm-hmm. what I was trying to think of mm-hmm. earlier. Mm-hmm. But that's all part of it, and sure. it has been going on forever. But there's a and good side to the Internet there. Yeah, there is. You know, and that's that's something, it's like, uh, earlier today, I got to thinking about it, and everybody is so worried about the New World Order. <laughs> okay, so there's a New World Order yeah. out there that the leeches that be are putting out there as the only New World Order that is an option for you. That's not the only New World Order that's an option. There is an option of doing a New World Order that has nothing to do with the leeches that be, that completely eliminates them out of the equation. But that new world order requires everyone to take some personal responsibility, exercise some self-control, and be empathic towards others or be compassionate towards others. Mm. That's that's a new world order, Mm. but it starts one person at a time, you know, and and people learn by example on that. Mm. And if they like the way it's working for you, then they will incorporate it into their lives. But this, the new world order that's being forced on everyone is, well, we must reduce the population. We must do this. We must do that. <laughs> Who's this we? You got a freaking mouse in your pocket? What the hell? Well, so, yeah, but see, you've got all these logical arguments that could be made that verbally they stand up. But when you slice the pie down and you get to these really small tiny pieces, you realize that your little input into this big, gigantic game, I don't care if you're George Bush or Trump, it's just words people are telling us. These guys don't do anything. Well, you know what? What? I'm going to be the mosquito in the room. Uh, Everybody says one person can't change things. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be the mosquito in the room and make sure you don't get any sleep. That's not exactly what I'm saying. What I'm saying is these big names get all this attention Mm -hmm. for all this. they're attention whores. And they don't do anything, but they they sit in a, a, they got a title, they sit in a seat of position. And the the lower underclass, which is what we are looked at as, we look up to these gods and we, we prop them up and support them instead they of... They play their part and they've got everyone else to do, you know, pretty much do my bidding. I have spoken, <laughs> as you would say. Well, but yeah. that's, that's all they're doing. They're playing a part. Oh, I realize the part that. that yeah. they, they, you know, they applied for that position mm. and... Yeah. How you know, can we use? They got the role. How can we use the tools that we have? Because there's such a small audience that's on the internet that's looking for answers. See, the numbers of people are out there doing shit, or they're poor and they don't have a fucking internet to look at. But so, you know what? Once once you vocalize something, vocalization is is air passing over your vocal cords and causing a sound vibration. Mm -hmm. So when you vocalize something, you put that out there, and that does affect the rest of the area. Oh, yeah. And and so people, you know, I've Wayne and I were talking the other day, and he said, how many followers you got on Twitter? And I said, I don't know, 1,600 if I'm doing that good. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I get some, I lose them the next day. It's the teeter-totter game over there. And he said, well, how many do like so-and-so? And And I I said, hundreds of thousands. I have no idea. Well, why don't you have, I don't know. 
Well, then why do you keep putting stuff on there? Because if I put it out there in the consciousness stream, you can't erase it from the consciousness stream. It's out there. Once a thought has been thought and acted on and even just thought and vocalized, mm. it's out there in the stream. Once it's acted on, it's, it's like it's anchored into the stream. So, yeah, but the right, reality baby, that was just mommy. But the reality is so different than what it should be. You know, it's been manipulated well, to where it is what now. What we're told is reality. Uh, yeah. here, no, Mary, I, you're going to get all particular with me at the end of the show. I am. But it's, well, Snuffles and Bubba, I pounded on the desk, and they're both going, someone's here, someone's here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I got that with Hannah, but she barks. But uh, we've got 10 minutes left on the In a Perfect World, and thanks a whole lot for coming in because I was, I wasn't really in the mood to do a solo. Uh, oh. I feel like it's the the Flash's bragging show. It's I got nothing to complain about, and the only things there are to talk about are, you know, what's going on back home, because every place else is boring. <laughs> nothing. We wouldn't have a show to talk about if, if it wasn't for America. Well, yeah, America, but you know what? There's there's other pieces of dirt. Okay, on but this you world. know, like, uh, but America is hogging the stage right now. You yeah. know, it's, it's like a, a ham. It's up there going, pay attention to me, All pay right. attention All to right. me. But Let's the, do something uh, really vile, the, so and, everybody will look at me, look at me. Yeah. The internet is trying to make it look like violence has spread to Copenhagen over the um, protesting crap. You know. Yeah. The, no, they got racists here too. They got groups here that do this protesting shit. So, but no, nothing came here. We're not. No violence is going to come because some American got killed. It's just. A, well, what was the, it? I saw something uh, earlier today about. Mm. Wow, France has a George too, <laughs> and I thought, oh, good wow. lord. Yeah. Well, maybe the violence will spread, but it won't get here. I've been violence here a long time. Is a virus. This is mm-hmm. the virus mm-hmm. that people, you know, they say the virus is, is the coronavirus. No, that's a freaking beer that you put a lime in it. The virus <laughs> yeah, is a mind virus, and the mind virus injects you with fear and hatred and, and uh, violent tendencies. Mm-hmm. That's what that mind virus does, mm-hmm. and you need to inoculate yourself. And mm-hmm. the only way you can inoculate yourself is step away from it. How about some real social distancing? Step away from that shit. Mm-hmm. And when you're out amongst the people, give someone a hug and tell them that's what they can do with their other social distancing. Yeah, you know, actually, because that's, that's what I saw when I was out today, people being friendly and hugging each other and haven't seen you in a while and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it, and then I got my internet world where everybody's fucking suffering, and I think it pisses me off. Or it, hmm. I don't know, it it, fe- it affects me on some kind of level, because I, I get, well, get something out of it. It's it's tweaking your empathy, zone, temp, empathy bone, yeah. is what it's Probably, doing. Probably, you know, my roots, my family, blah, blah, blah. Old friends, people I've known, people that are dead. They're all in the States. Not all of them, but, I mean, a good percentage of them. Uh-huh. But it's it's not like the um, return of... Now, I can't never do that. I got married here. So, hmm. So not only do but now I've got all these things to play off of, you know, to explain. Oh, look at how good you got it, and it really didn't work that way. It's more like, wow, how did these people get tricked into believing the crap they believe? See, it was a long road getting here. Yeah, yeah. But the I see the COVID thing, the lockdown, and then and then the killing made on a public display of this one particular killing. And so they could blame it on blacks when they got 10, 15 percent of the population, maybe, and everybody else ain't black. Don't give me all this black shit. It's a bunch of crap. 
Damn it! If we would have <sighs> paid reparations, this shit. No, would have please, Nine, nonsense. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. There's idiots out there. Yeah, exactly. That. But there's just as many other races that were enslaved. There's people enslaved now. I think we're slaves because we don't have an opt out to society. If you try to go live off the land, though, and they find you, or you trip over something that you're not supposed to touch. They'll put you in a box and lock you up. Go, wait yeah. a minute. What have I done? I, I'm alive. I'm a living being. Well, you're not following the rules. Oh, here we go. <laughs> rules. Rules. And, and, all right. But we've all been indoctrinated to believe without them, we would be living exactly how things are going right now in America is what they told you you wouldn't have. If you just let them lead you. And they led you right to the slaughter. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. fortunately, this place is a little smaller. They don't have that kind of uh, land to waste or population to destroy. They can't do that. Can't afford it. In America, you'll have it rebuilt in five years. And they'll start the cycle all over again. Oh, yeah. Because, because uh, obviously... Yeah. People are slow learners. Mm, mm. Well, no, they're under control. The, the bulk of us, like 95% of people, do not want the responsibility of being called a dumb fuck. So they they go with the herd. Uh, I'm a liberal. I'm a Democrat. I'm a Republican. I'm a Jew. I'm a nigger. I'm a spick. You know, they join a well, group, some group. Yeah, there's an... There's Power an awful lot of responsibility that goes along with knowing better. And once once you learn, you cannot go back. Just like this new normal or how are Whatever we going to is. ever get back to normal. What yeah. makes you think I want to go back to what you called normal? Right. And here, and here nothing really changed. So there was no normal yeah. to go back to. There was a, either you comply with this rule thing they want you to, or you don't. No force, no punishment. Yeah. Yeah. So it was never uh, uh, stuffed down our throats. It was very nice. I told you, we got the illusion of freedom here because it's rope instead of barbed wire. You in America, where I am from, seem to enjoy the barbed wire. You like the violence. Oh, no, that's that's just the impression that goes out there on the mainstream media. I don't like I don't like whips and things unless you're talking licorice whips. And then I have to get out my nerf spurs. That's See, all there is to it. You're just a weirdo like that, though. Cause <laughs> there, you know, to, to end the show with, I, on a bad note, but there are violent people in the world that have um, justification in their own mind for their personal behavior towards Society, because society made them that way. Well, their violence stems from either fear or anger, and a lot of times anger stems from fear. All the time. No, 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 no. All this defending and attacking shit's all fear-based. If you're, if I would never attack Circle, ever. I don't care how mad I get over some, whatever the fuck it is, I've never attacked. That would be insane. Well, at least not in a violent manner. That's what I mean. I would never attack. I just, words, nothing more. But yeah. there's people in this world that they they get off on the, the attack, the physical fight. That's what they like. Well, it's because it makes, it gives them that little euphoric It doesn't matter on. why. I'm just saying that that I exists know. in our life, and it's part of being human, I think, is that that violent side, it, it's in us all. You just got to learn where to draw the line. And we have to evolve beyond it instead of all this shit of revolution because a revolution is taking a lap. Yeah. The earth revolves around the sun. That's a revolution. One lap around the sun is a revolution. Mm. So you start out at one point, you go all the way around, and you come back to that point. I don't think we need a revolution. We need an evolution. We need to step away from the laps. Get oh, out of that yeah. rat race. Oh, and I was trying to say is uh, Miss Kate's dog, Buddy, is going to go. He got ill. Yes. And I wanted to make a, make a message on, on the radio. You know, so I got on the radio somewhere. 
Yes, bless your heart, Miss Kate. Because she was telling this earlier. It got circle. You know, she she's a little bit more sappy than I am, but yeah. And happy uh, trails to you, buddy. And mm, I I have been buddy. sending thoughts to my doozer so that doozer so, will meet buddy on the other side yeah. of the rainbow bridge and yeah. and take buddy to see Auntie Wanda because Auntie Wanda loves all fur babies. Now, what is the lesson that we're supposed to learn when your pet goes? Because you know that you, you know by numbers you're supposed to outlive them but yeah for whatever reason some part of us just isn't ever prepared you know i had a uh i inherited a, a kind of dog was that pomeranian mm-hmm. like a big pomeranian too she was long-haired you know but she, mm-hmm. she looked more like a terrier but she's a pommy and this mm-hmm. dog just attached herself to me and when i when she went i left her on the floor by my computer while I sat there all night looking at the dog, make sure. I wanted to make, this just, maybe I'm wrong, maybe she's just having some kind, you know, I was so confused and didn't want the dog to die, but the dog was gone, but I wouldn't let her go until the morning. <laughs> well, you know? yeah, you do have a... Just in case, I'd hate to bury a dog that was really alive, just, I'm panicking over the, you know, because I'm not a doctor. Well, bless his heart, when when Doozer died a week ago now, I was like, yeah. oh, Wayne. And I oh. I mean, I, re- I really maintained myself very well, I thought, until he brought up her kitty bed. And that's when I lost it. Because well. cause I just looked at him and I said, honey, mm. she's gone. She's starting to stiffen up. And, uh, mm. and so he went and got her kitty bed and I laid her in her kitty bed and then he went out this is at midnight mind you he started digging her grave and I got to carry her out and I sobbed the Uh, whole way you know I probably would secretly do that too because I'm getting older and softer now you know when I was young everything was no problem but I find out the older you get if you don't get more uh, solid you get weaker you get softer yeah yeah, well, no, you, I think you get yeah. more more in touch with your emotions, and we are over time, dear. So, and I'm thanks I'm, for coming along with in a perfect world, Miss Mary, and everybody else that put up with us for the last two hours. Yes, thank you, guys. See you next fun. time, everybody. See you, love you, bye. <laughs>